Hello, this is Grinch Star, and and with me is my little sidekick, two year, two year old grandson, trying to help Papa with his uh, uh, keyboarding skills. Um, I'm in Bitwig, and and I I wanted to set up recording, and one thing I I, I uh, don't know if uh, which caught me off is is that you have to set up a MIDI controller. Um, so you have to go in here on the MIDI keyboard, click Add, and then drop down, and then here's your list of MIDI controllers. And until you do that, you, uh, you're you not getting any MIDI input. So now you can see the, the yellow button up here uh, going off when, when my grandson's playing it. Um, also what I wanted to do is was add, uh, go into uh, the Reason Rack plugin. If I could spell yeah. it right. And loaded. Um, so I'm going to play with uh, trying to get some modulations uh, within reason uh, going through Bitwig. Because there's a, a ton of things you can do here to alter stuff that affect things here. And what's what's more helpful or powerful is the, the combinators that have the additional macros that you could sit there and assign... Like this combinator key, and you can see here that it's moving. So that means it's a, you can directly assign it from Bitwig, which allows you to go in here, do an LFO, and assign it like this. And actually, the knob's moving. So you can take real good advantage of, of between the uh, reason for using sounds and... Uh, um, Bitwig for the modulation with this control, and I can go in here into the editor, and I can assign something to this control. Uh, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Bit. Add. Add. It's been a while since I messed with this. It shouldn't be this. Oh, there we go. Sorry. It, it took a while. So we can go control four. We can say, hey, we're going to target. Uh, go back to devices. We're going to target, let's say, like the filter uh, frequency. And now you can see the filter frequency bouncing up and down. Okay, so let me add in a separate LFO. Let me set the settings on this one. And let me assign this to the third control. And it says three in here, so I can sit there and I can go that. And then go and add control three. To the filter, and I'm going to do resonance. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, you can sort of further add in some more um, modulation possibilities. Let's add in, let's say, the <clears throat> pulverizer. All right, now I'm going to assign two to my... Do it. Oh, 
this one. Roll two. So we do filter frequency. Go back into here. Go. I want. I want steps. Just. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, it'll probably be useful for for a lot of different things. For if uh, you want to uh, sit here and and use the the reason set of instruments and effects uh, that you're more familiar with them, but you want to give it a uh, <clears throat> Bitwig style of of uh, modulation. Now, of course, you know you can use um, the, this has LFOs and this has pattern sequencers, and you could do the same thing in reason and hook hook up the uh, pattern sequencer, sequencer up to here and then flop it or flip it around and then use the um, the CV here curve CV and still do the same thing So you can do the filter frequency. No, you can't. It doesn't show any animation for the CV, but you can sit here and, and put it in dirt and turn it down. So it's possible to do the same thing uh, with the step and reason, and it's possible for the LFOs and reason. But there is a lot more uh, shenanigans that could probably be done easier in Bitwig, uh, along along with reason to get uh, a really cool modified sound or modulated sound. Oh no, something happened with the sound. What did I do? Either way, 
Um, hope you liked the video. That that's probably it for the uh, messing around. Uh, for this video, anyways. Um, hope you liked the video or got something out of it. Thanks for watching.